And also happening today, state lawmakers will be kicking off a special session at the state capitol with recreational marijuana as the main focus. Eyewitness News reporter Roger Susana joins us now live at the state capitol in Hartford to explain how the debates could impact all of us. Good morning, Roger. Well, good morning, Wendell. Good morning, Nicole. And the truth is, you both framed this really, really well because the debates that are going to be happening here at the state capitol today into tomorrow could have repercussions on all Connecticut residents for years to come. When the legislative session ended last week, lawmakers already knew they still had some major work ahead of them. State senators returned to the Capitol this morning, and members of the House come back tomorrow for a special session dedicated to a couple of important issues, the budget and legalization of recreational marijuana. Now, you may remember both chambers hammered out a two-year, $46 billion budget last week that does not require a tax increase or any spending cuts. But despite the agreement, lawmakers were not able to put the finishing touches on the budget before the June 9th deadline. So both sides will have to sign off on an implementer bill during this special session. And that debate may seem like a piece of cake compared to the main event, recreational weed. Last week, the Senate actually narrowly passed a proposal to greenlight the sale of recreational marijuana, but that bill went up in smoke because the House failed to come to an agreement during the regular session. Democrats hold the majority, but Republicans threatened to filibuster, and Governor Lamont responded by calling for this special session, which brings us to where we are this morning. And Governor Ned Lamont has strongly supported the legalization of recreational marijuana, at least in part because it has the potential to bring in hundreds of millions of dollars per year to our state. But we'll have to wait and see whether or not he gets his wish beginning this morning at 11 a.m. when state senators arrive here to the state capitol. Reporting live this morning in Hartford, I'm Roger Susannon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.